Yo, 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 you chillin' with Cloud Chasing with Buddy and Bleezy, man. I am Bleezy, part two. Story view, brother, cool, man. Let's go. So who was, he had to be young, but a lot of people despise people based upon their appearance. People see my hat to the back. They're like, what's up with him? He's still out here in the streets. The father has chosen me, and he has approved my attire. And the word also tells us to judge not according to your appearance judge a righteous judgment. So it's not based upon how we look physically. It's about what resides within the mind, within the spirit. But those people, those people the thing is, the Messiah says, many shall come unto me in that day saying, Master, Master, help me not prophesy in your name and that many wonderful works are cast out devil. But I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of the name. Who's he talking about? He's talking about people who was pretending to be these people in whom he had called to preach about him, but they weren't. Because the thing is, like I talked, we talked about mythology. This is not mythology. This is real life. So therefore, everybody who we see in this world who's talking about they speaking on the Father's behalf, you have to have a spiritual revelation. The Father has to call you out to speak on his behalf can't go off and establish your own righteousness because if you do, you're going to cause people to stumble. And that's what the Christian church is doing. They're causing our people to stumble because they're not teaching them the volume of the book, of the book because they're not the ones who are supposed to teach it. They teach and highlight the verses. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They teach in Bible college, theology, mm -hmm. you know, uh, just a curriculum like you mentioned, you know, just like any other course. And that's what they're doing because the thing is, anybody can use something for manipulation. You can use this cup of drink for manipulation. You know, the internet, athletics, and entertainment, it's used for manipulation. That's what the devil does. And a lot of people don't realize the devil is the adversary of us all. Even if you know he exists and you're playing on his team and you know what you're doing, he's still your adversary because he's not for you. So it's better. It's my thing is is this. It's better to do what's good. It's better to do what's good. And uh, it's the only way you can't live. If you live any other way, you you're actually uh, you're on your own way, man. For real. So uh, it's more like the church, like knowing that people was Hebrew and they just being the other kind of message. How you feel about that when they just lead people astray this is wrong? That's like I said before, that's something that they're gonna have to answer for. Now, if I when I encounter people like I mentioned, my, my friends heard that a lot of people don't realize that just because you're saying that, that you're a Hebrew, that doesn't mean anything in regards to uh Basically, salvation, because here's the thing. The Messiah said the flesh profited nothing. It is the spirit that quickens. So just because we know that we're Hebrews, but you're claiming that you're a Hebrew, that doesn't mean nothing. You have to be a Hebrew in spirit. Your mind has to be circumcised like the seal of circumcision in which Abraham was given. That's what it represented. It represented his mind being clean. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not walking as a Hebrew in spirit, doesn't mean anything. And those people, they haven't even began to even understand that concept. They might pretend as if they do, but there's judgment upon the Christian church. You know, and that's just the way it is. And the Father, he reiterates that throughout the Word in its entirety because going back to the uh, book of Deuteronomy, a lot of people don't realize this. The book of Deuteronomy goes over the curses that was placed upon the children of Israel. And one of the biggest curses is said. It says that the children of Israel will be led into every nation where they shall serve wood and stone. Now, what religious section or religious faction that you know worship wood and worship stone? That's Christianity and Islam. Now, don't get me wrong. Messiah did die on the cross, but it was not to be worshipped. It was never supposed to be created and put out in front of your building and put on chains and necklaces and tattoos not supposed to be like that. That's idolatry. You know, so I got a 
Uh, you know, <clears throat> it's been a while ago, though. But, you know, that's why majority of the time now when you see the cross, you don't see him on her because they had a big, you know, if you think back about when we was little, you used to see the cross, you used to have him on her. Mm-hmm. But then it came out, it was a big thing with the, with the churches and everything where they were saying, that's blasphemous. He, you don't post it. This is like the problem was with the Nas video when Nas was on the right, right, right. and when Pop did it on the on, on. Yeah, in fact, Diddy was in the video. Yeah, Diddy was in the video. They yeah. said Diddy made him do it, I think, something like that. Or something yeah. to that nature. But, mm-hmm. And then you know with Pop on the uh, right. on the Machiavelli app. But that's why now when you see in the churches they just had a regular cross. Mm-hmm. They don't have on her because it was a big issue about that. Now I was gonna say like as far as like reading the Bible, like I never how do you read it? Like, read it from start to finish, or do you, like, read it and skip over it? Now, you know what I mean? Like, try to read. like my, I know people who are, like, readers straight through. I'm not really a reader. I'm more of a study, and I'm, and I'm led by the Spirit. The Word tells you how to interpret the Word. Now, the thing is, it always has to be spiritually. But in regards to just studying in the book of um, Isaiah, Chapter um, 28, it says that um, whom shall he teach knowledge, whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are waiting for the milk and drawn from the press. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little bit there. Little. Now, the concept of a child being waiting for the milk, that means spiritual maturity. When Abraham actually had his son Isaac, then celebrated birthday. He celebrated Isaac being waned from the milk, which represented his spiritual maturity. So when you grow and develop in the spirit, that's what happens. You begin to eat of the strong meat, I mean the solid food, and then you rightly divide the word of truth, precept upon precept, which means commandment upon commandment, and here a little and there a little. Because oftentimes in the word, you might see something that's said by Isaiah, but it might not be clear to you what he's talking about. So you go somewhere else, in, in, um, in the New Testament or whatnot, and you can find how to align it, you know, to get a better interpretation of it. Because oftentimes, that's how, it, that's how it's done, because you might understand something, like we were talking about it earlier, you might understand something in a different way, if it's read some, you know, by one of the different prophets, or even by the apostles. But that's how you do it. You rightly divide the word of truth. That's why the whole scripture comes with Yes, the reference Bible is like certain. Yeah. 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 Um, what is it called? It's like when they have those uh, yeah, study Bible. Study Bible. Some of them have. Some Bibles do have the references down the middle. Yeah, references in this one, yeah. references in this one too. But yeah, study Bibles. Yeah, they give you the precepts and things of that nature too. But yeah, but but more importantly though, it's about the Spirit because the Apostle elaborated on the Spirit. He said the Spirit. Of Yah searches her in all things, even the deep things of Elohim. So when you led by the Most High through His Spirit, that's how you get the interpretation. Of it. So whenever you study, you might sit down, you pray about certain things, and once He begins to lead you, you'll start to see everything just unfold. But if you're not led by the Spirit, it's no way possible. That's the reason why the Christian Church you get that interpretation. They feel as if knowing who the Israelites are isn't important, but that's not true. You have to understand who the children of Israel are to, hold them, to really understand the totality of the book. Because if you don't know who they are, how do you know what the Messiah came to do? Because it says that he was actually sent to save his people. Now, don't get me wrong. That means all people who were actually with him. But the thing is, primarily the children of Israel, that was the first goal. And that was the main intention to save the children of Israel. So, so uh, like since you became a different person, have you like lost friends or like kind of really don't deal with you more because you don't be doing that old stuff you used to do? Gotcha. You got to. You got to. You can see that in the word mm-hmm. when when like for instance, Abraham the father of our faith, he had to leave his father's house. Just imagine how hard that was. David's son actually overthrew him. Now, don't get me wrong. This happened because David committed sin. He took another man's wife, laid with her, had the man killed, and all that stuff. But 
the father, his judgment was to raise up someone out of his own house, which was his own son who overthrew him. Ultimately, David's men killed his own son. That's separation right there. Because David was a spirit-led man, even though he committed sin. He committed sin, but he still was of the Father. He was a foreshadow of the Messiah. So all these people had to endure certain things. You know, even the women. Rahab the harlot. She was actually um, amongst a certain region in which Israel had conquered. But they told her because she looked out for them that they would spare her whole house. She was a harlot. That means she was a prostitute. She ultimately went into, actually became the great grandmother of David. You know, so there's always a spiritual separation. And we need not to be shy when that happens. Or be like, it hurts, don't get me wrong, because I have people who I've known all my life. And I would love to be around them and share the things in which the Father has taught me. But if he places people before you and shows you who they truly are, and he separates you spiritually from them, are inclined to actually listen to him as opposed to pleasing people. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. <laughs> it's a weird thing, but like people understand that, but you know, one of them still don't care. Like they won't listen to the, you know what I'm saying, the word they ever listen to man on the street or yeah. you know, people keep on doing what they're doing. Yeah, yeah I, I can relate. That. I can relate to. There's there's nothing that you can do because the thing is you can't force anybody. You can't first force because that's not love. Love is an action word. So if I love you, that means I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that I love you. But the thing is, if you're not taking heed to the love in which I'm actually displaying before you, you're not reciprocating, then you have to go on about your own business. Because the, the, the disciples is actually giving commandments. They, they, the Messiah told them, if you go into a person's house and they don't receive you, it's like, kick the dust off your feet. Because that shall be given as a witness against them. Because they rejected the word. They're not rejecting me or whoever might be coming with the word. They're rejecting the Father through his word, which is the Son. You know, and that's what matters the most. If you, if you say, man, I don't, man, I remember when he was doing such and such, man, I ain't trying to hear that. He ain't changed. That's not what it's about. Because there's plenty of people in the book who had passed. Noah was actually delivered when the flood came, but he committed sin. He got drunk and cursed his own son because he saw his nakedness. So everybody has something that they dealt with or still do deal with. But the thing is, we have to persevere. We have to endure. We have to actually start trying to put it off. But if a person doesn't receive me, I used to consider it like a like a slap in the face. You know, I took it personally. But when I got into the word more and started to realize that it wasn't about me personally because they're rejecting the word, you know, not me. And that's what it is. You know? And that's what's disheartening the most because when you realize it's not about me, it's about the word. I'm like, hey, you know, if you really cared about the Father, you're saying you care, you know, you're going to receive it. No matter who it's coming from, a child, no matter what. But the importance is, though, you know, is receiving. If you can't receive it, then you know, it might not be meant for you. Then also, seeds grow at different times. You know, it's different. People have different levels. You know, we talked about being waiting for a milk. You know, there's different levels to all things. But, you know, ultimately, you have to grow sometimes. Is it true that uh, King James is a black man? Based upon my study, yeah. But King James had a lot of things that that he dealt with as well. Because here's the thing. Even though we read out of King James Version Bible, things of that nature, centuries ago, still to this day, they do this too. When they translated books, the Bible, it was about power. It was about political advantage. Because the Bible was profitable. You ever seen the book of Eli? With Denzel Washington? When you see that, that movie, he was actually being hunted by this dark-like figure man who wanted the book. He wanted the book so bad that he was willing to kill people for it. And also he was willing to, to go up against someone whom the father 
um, had called to actually keep this book, which was the character in which this uh, watched the play. That's the same thing in this world. People are actually sold to light up. It happens still in some countries because if you go to Arabia, let you get caught with this. Off with your head. You, know, you can't even go to certain regions. You go far east. You get caught with a mob, you're going to die. You know, and that's just the way it is. But, you know, from my perspective, it's worth it. It's worth it. I heard the book of Eli is a real book. Is that a real book? Um, and now, there was a man named, there's plenty of people that have had the name of Eli. One of the most uh, memorable parts about Eli in the book to me, he was a high priest who actually had sons. Ultimately, his sons were wicked. Um, he ended up looking out more of his, you know, having respect towards his son as opposed to the most high because his sons were doing all type of things of that nature. He gave them the past. And Eli actually died. But that movie was just a depiction of the book in general. Because Denzel was a figure of a prophet. If you noticed in the movie, he wasn't able to be touched. He ultimately he did get shot, but he went and still fulfilled his purpose, even though he was wounded. You know, that's that's like a messiah type of figure. They always depict this messiah figure through all the movies, whether they depict him as being black or white, because they know it's true. Do you think uh People as every man, good thing to have like a spiritual enemy. We all do. The apostle said, he said, uh, be sober, be vigilant for your adversary. The devil walked about as a roaring lion seeking who we make about. That's the adversary of us all. You know, so it doesn't matter what you might believe, he's still against you. Mm-hmm. Because he's the father of lies. And that's the thing with, with truth. Father's truth doesn't have any lies. That's the reason why when you study and you're led by the Spirit, you have to be able to. And the Father allows you to decipher certain lies. You know, whether whether you might not even see it at the time. Mm-hmm. Like, dang, why buddy acting like that? Or why do acting like that? Not you. Listen, Jerry. Mm-hmm. You know, why why this and why that? But the character, the, the person, you'll be like, like, why are you doing that? Or why is she doing that? But it's spiritual. And the devil works for a lot of people. The, the Messiah actually told Peter. Now, here's the thing: Peter was the he went on to be the head apostle, but the Messiah rebuked him because he wanted the Messiah to do a certain thing in which the Messiah knew that he had to fulfill. And he told him that he had a devil because it's spiritual. Devils are like like you ever seen those movies where they talk about these diseases and they have to have a host. That's what the devil is. He has to have a host. Physical, a phys- he's a parasite in a sense because he has to have a physical host because he's a spirit. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. What's on some pieces of literature, man? Read up on just a good study. Um, of course, the book, <laughs> of course, but I really, I don't really go outside the book because once. Once I start to see that the answer is always in the book, I don't go outside of it. Um, people have different types of books. There's, uh, of course, people read the. Some people read the apocrypha. I don't. I don't. I don't teach anybody out there apocrypha. I don't know. Um, I don't really study it. I've already done my study on apocrypha, but you know, you got that about apocrypha. Um, those the, the term apocrypha. Depends on how far you go back or whatever um, source you might be using. Um, it's defined as being the hidden books or sacred books. Now, modernly, it's revered it's, it's as being the um, uninspired books. Because the thing is, these books in her can't really be substantiated through like ancient text or something like that. But some people read them. You know, I have it because when I first started off, like watching watching certain type of congregations and stuff, they put a lot of emphasis on reading the apocrypha. But some people read the Book of Enoch. Now, Book of Enoch he is mythology. Yes, I, 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 I read. I, I see it. It talks about mermaids. Um, you see what I'm saying? Mermaids and the fallen angels actually fleshly lie with women and having children. That's not even possible. 
know what I'm saying? And that's mythology. That's Greek mythology. That's what, yeah. Yeah, that's what they're trying to say. The giant. Yeah. Yes, but that's not true because the giant still was in the world afterwards. Even the book tells he said there were giants in those days and afterwards. So even after that event, there still were giants. So where were the angels that sleeping with his women? So a lot of people don't study certain things. People like to believe though. You know, because we grew up, we, we like Star Trek. We like um, all those five sci-fi movies. But when it comes down to this word, all right, I'm all for truth. I stand on the side of the Bible <laughs> on everything because it doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah, so... Uh, have any uh, like have any of your family or friends have they received a message and yeah, or like someone happy for you? Um, I can't necessarily say that I know. I don't know. You know, some people say certain things, but actions prove otherwise. You know, because if, if you present me with something with a package. And I believe that there's something beneficial to me, you know, I'm gonna open that backwards. Right. Check it out. See what's inside. But they have it. You know. And and if and the thing is, people think just because they know you personally, you know, personal, oh I know he used to do that. You know, you know, he used to shoot his gun and, and rob people and do this and do that so now, so now you know you still have a certain image of a person so but I came across certain people who listen you know they listen everybody listen because some people have still have a certain level of respect for you so they'll hear you out but whether they're being changed by it I don't know but that's not for me to decide because the apostle even talks about it he said he said um the increase belongs to the Father. So if you plant something and I come along and I water it, when it grows, that doesn't really belong to either one of us. That be that happens through the Father by way of the Son. So that's up to the Father. The increase belongs to Him. So I don't. I'm not really aware of whether people receive it. Like I say, people listen because I guess because they feel as if they need to or, or they want to at the time, but when that seed grows, it's going to grow in that time. And that's not up to me. I don't force people to believe anything. Um, the Father gives me spiritual discernment, so when I come across a person, even who I might not know, if I say something, but as soon as I see something spiritually in that person that's not receiving it, I have to cast the, keep the dust off my feet because you know I have to go to where fruit is. And that's just the way it is. Buddy, and please thank Brother Pooh, man, for dropping his knowledge on us, man. Shalom, shalom. I'm yeah. afraid to the most high y'all met to the lamb. Yeah, watch, like, share, subscribe, man. Yeah. It's the dialect. Knowledge, man, it's an understanding, man. We need to grasp as a people. We can help understand. We can help water the seeds and grow each other. You know, everybody can be better. Sign up. Man. Yeah, give it a try. Please. Please. MTD Production, nigga. Self made shit for us.